welcome back to the channel. Now that we have all devices connected to our cloud key, what we're going to need to do is set up some networks. So first we'll go into our settings and we'll get rid of this. And so you can see we have a, a Wi-Fi network of YouTube test. What we need to do is we're going to first check our internet. We can enable a speed test. I'm not going to at the moment. And then our WAN, we can see that that's set up using DHCP. Um, right now, this WAN network is tied to my lab, internal lab, so it would be getting an internal IP address. Um, I don't know that we can even see the IP address of the WAN at this point. Yes, we can. We can go into the security gateway and see WAN1 IP address is 192.168.60.27. So it's tied to my lab network, which is that's an internal address. But no worries, we just want to make sure we don't use 192.168.60.0. So we'll go ahead and create a new local network. Right now we have the LAN on 192.168.1.0 slash 24, which we'll leave as a corporate network. And what we're gonna do is have this set up as our, we'll actually rename it, and name it to our uh, management MGMT network. We'll go ahead and apply that change. And I'm gonna leave that as an untagged network at this point. No VLAN ID on, on this network. So I'm happy with, we'll leave the DHCP range as it is. Um, we can always go create static addresses or reservations for our, um, for our, hardware at a later point so next we want to create a a network for an office network so i'm going to go ahead and create an advanced network we are in the um, new settings mode you can always go back to classic mode and i can show you how to we'll set up our next next network in classic mode but we'll do uh, office and it is a corporate network we'll give it the vlan id of 10 and we'll leave it as a small LAN. This isn't a big office, but we'll set it up with 192.168.10.1 slash 24. So that's a small network size. And we'll change the DHCP range to 50, but we need it to auto con auto generate. <laughs> nope. 10. Dot, we need to make sure we change the IP address to 10. And then 10. We don't have a domain name. That's OK. We want this to be the DHCP server. This lease is fine for me. You can go ahead and lower it if you would like to. Just remember, it's, it is in seconds. So do the math, figure out how long you want your DHCP lease to be. And then I'm good with this. We'll go ahead and hit done. So now we have our office network. We should also set up a phone network and a guest network. But I'm going to go ahead and go to classic mode. And we'll go to classic mode, go to networks, and create a new network. We'll call it a corporate network. And we'll call it voice. VLAN ID of 20. Um, and we'll set it up with 192.168. 20.1 and we'll do another slash 24 network and so we can go ahead and update DHCP range. I'm going to go ahead and leave the addresses the way they are. You can change the beginning if you need more static addresses. Um, you know, you can change change that up to, you know, it's even started at, at 100 and go from 100 to 254 or even, you know, just down to 250 and leave those last four addresses open if you would like. Um, totally up to how you need to set up your network and we'll go ahead and hit save 
And then the last one we need is a guest network. So we'll go ahead and call this uh, office guest. And we'll create it a guest network. Setting it as a guest network will set the firewall rules so that those who are on this guest network cannot talk to any device on any of the other networks. So it, it <coughs> so it makes sure that you're set up for the, in the most secure way possible. We'll set this as a VLAN ID, VLAN ID of 30. So we'll do one nine. And then we're going to actually change this. We'll go 10 dot 30 dot 1 dot 0 slash 24. And then we'll update the DHCP range and we'll leave that because guests can just be wide, a uh, wide open range. Currently, the least time is set to a day. You could set it to as much as an hour, um, you know, whatever suits your fancy. So I'm going to leave it at a, at a day. I don't foresee that many guests coming in that will run out of IP addresses. So we'll go ahead and hit save. Not happy. Mm. Ah, I see. You can't do a slash zero. You have to do slash one dot one. So. My mistake will hit save and now it's happy. So what we need to do is tie all of our networks out to our wireless networks. So actually what we're going to do is change YouTube test over to the office. And we can do that by using VLAN ID of we set that to 10 and then we'll leave that wide open it will combine the two networks and that will be good to go so I'll, I'll go ahead and hit save and then we also need we're going to do this in the new settings now to create the guest network so this is just a, a network set up by Unify um, I honestly haven't figured out what that network is for but we will do an advanced wi-fi network and we'll call this guest we want to enable the network it's personal we'll set up a password and we want guest policies so it will set up our subnet restrictions and then we want to use a vlan so we'll go ahead and the VLAN for this was 30. And at this point, you could also MAC address filter or have radius set up. That's a little more out of the scope of this video. And guest is set up and good to go. So at this point, you have a fully functioning Unify network. The security on the guest network won't allow devices on that network to talk to anything on the office or phone or management networks. Um, what we want to do is move our computer that we're currently using to connect to the cloud key on. We want to make sure that device. So if we go out to our system preferences and network, we'll look and see currently I'm on the management network and we want it to be in the office network. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we can do that by changing the port. And I know that that device is connected to port two right now. It's going to hand out everything. We want port two, that port profile to hand out office. And then we'll go ahead and hit apply. It's going to reprovision the Flex Mini.
and now we're connected and we can see that that is currently on office. What we want to do is we can see we already have the new IP address of 10.50 and we will go ahead and refresh. We can get back into the controller, even though we have an IP address of 10.50 and we can verify that by going over to the client section here and it should update. which it's not, clients currently doesn't know. It knows that it's on port two. And now we can see that it's 10.50 um, of that IP address. Everything's set up. Now here are some little tweaks that I'm, I would say you should make. If you've got multiple devices, you're gonna wanna make sure you name different things, all your devices within Unify. So if you had multiples of these, you'd wanna go by asset tag or some way to keep them all separate. So to rename them, you can go in and you can change the alias. So I'll call this, you know, Flex Mini A and save that out. We can change this, you know, its settings to, oh, um, you know, Wi-Fi upstairs or upstairs, upstairs, can't type today. And then the security gateway, um, we can rename to uh, USG fire as a firewall. So now at least this way we know what devices are which ones and we can, can make sure that you know if we had a long list of switches we could be able to get in and know what's going on the other thing i would suggest you change is we're going to go back to classic mode because i know where this setup is we want to go to the site change your site name um, away from default we'll call it youtube and i'll go ahead and hit apply changes and what that does is it changes your site name if you were to have multiple sites um, you don't want one called default, you wouldn't know what's going on. So if you were running a managed services provider or you were, your controller oversaw a site for a client, you just want to make sure that, you know, each location, if you had multiple homes, even all running Unify, you should be able to designate which site is which as you're doing your, your changes. Thanks for watching this video. In the next one, we'll get to how to set up the firewall and, and all of those different security pieces.